today's video is all about my Lush favourite. So I've brought together all the things, not the items that I go into Lush and think, oh, I'm going to try that today. The items that literally I put the money aside for and get every single time they've run out. So literally these are the things that are my main favourites of Lush. Um, some of them aren't the large bottles, they're a bit smaller because I've only been using a couple of them like a couple of months. Um, so literally as soon as they run out, I'll be going down to Lush and getting the large ones that last me a lot longer. Um, first of all as well, I'd like to apologise for not doing a video for a couple of weeks. Um, I've been on holiday for the past two weeks in Tenerife so I haven't done a video at all for that and then obviously I didn't have a lot of time before I went away to do one so I thought oh, I'll leave it and then I'll start it all fresh when I come back so I'm just welcoming myself back from a couple of weeks. Hello. Um, so let's get started. Um, I'm going to start off with something that I think it was a couple of months ago um, and I put a photo on Instagram, I literally went in and I bought loads of different stuff, I spent loads um, and we went in for my best friend's birthday and I bought her a couple of things as well and I thought you know what, I'm going to treat myself, I'm going to try a couple of different things that I don't usually try um, and I've been starting lately as well, instead of using like normal, you know, like cruddy shampoo and normal like you know toothpaste and stuff for my teeth I'm going to use something that I know is good for them and I know what's in there so um I went into Lush and I had a look at the tooth section natural teeth but you know what I mean things for teeth um, and I looked at all the dusting powders and all the little toothy tabs and I looked at the toothy tabs and I thought oh yeah I like the look of these but I had to look at all the different ingredients because loads were like different colours um, and I've gone for the dirty ones and they come in a little tube like this and they're actually full like I've been using this for a good couple of months and I've still got loads in there and I took them on holiday as well um, and obviously I brush my teeth before when I wake up in the morning and before I go to bed so I've used them a lot and still loads left in there um, these ones are called Dirty I think according to the ones that I've tried and according to the lady that works in Lush that I spoke to these are the ones that are closest to the toothpaste taste because I didn't want to obviously try some and blood oh god these are weird they don't taste the best i'm not gonna lie they're really not sour but they're they're different and you have to actually they come out like this they look like a little tablet and you literally crunch this between your teeth and then brush your teeth but they feel so so clean afterwards like trust me they feel amazing and they smell very like pepperminty um, these ones, I've made some little notes, um, this one dirty, it's £4.95 for this tub, and as I said it lasts you ages, um, and it's got spearmint and neroli oil in um, to make your teeth feel squeaky clean, so these ones I'd say are really really useful, and plus I feel better using them as well because unlike using toothpaste, you don't always feel really clean afterwards, but these literally are crunching between my teeth, scrubbing for ages, and they feel so amazing afterwards. Um, I've tried a couple of the other ones actually while I was in the store, but the one that um, I got a little sample of while I was there was Boom, and they're actually the ones that I've got charcoal in. Um, they taste a bit like peppery and like coca cola -ray. But they, to be honest, I think they make my teeth feel cleaner than these ones do. But they turn your teeth black, so it was really weird. So like, I tried them and I was like crunching in my teeth and my teeth were completely black. Like, a, like a, I don't know, like a freaking homeless person. But they felt amazing afterwards. So I'd probably say if you're looking for something that's going to make your teeth feel really, really clean, what I've tried is the Dirty, which is the ones I use every day. And these are the ones which taste obviously more like toothpaste. So if you prefer that, buy these ones. But the other one was the Boom. And obviously they taste very like charcoal peppery, but they do make your teeth look, feel fantastic, so I'd definitely go for them. So that's my first one, and as soon as these have ran out, I'm buying them more, that is a definite essential, because I'm always going to use these now. So that was the first one. The second thing was, um, when I used to be a bit younger, and you used to watch all of the teen like American movies and whatnot, um, you always have to have, used to see the girls having sleepovers and wearing like the face mask, which is like bright colours, like bright green, and they used to have like the cucumber eyes, and I used to be like, oh my god, when I get a bit older, I'm going to get one of them. Um, and then obviously the ones, the sh crappy face mask that you used to buy from Superdrug in those little, like really thin packets, it used to be like runny. Like your face was still your own colour, but little like drabs of like watery stuff all over, and they didn't make you feel relaxed at all. And your face felt so stiff afterwards. And I used to just hate them. And I've been searching all of my life for a proper face mask. Um, and I went into Lush, and 
the first one that I ever tried, even though I have tried nearly all of them, is still my favourite. It's called Love Lettuce. Now, the Lush face masks have to go in the fridge because they do actually contain, um, obviously, like foodie ingredients and whatnot. Um, I've tried a couple of the different ones, but this will always be my favourite because it is the most relaxing. If you're feeling stressed at work or you're feeling really drab, you've had loads of spots, this is the perfect thing. As soon as I, if I've had a breakout, as soon as I've cleaned my face and put this on, you leave it on for about 10, 15 minutes, my spots have dried up immediately. Like, obviously they haven't gone, but they've dried up, like they're not as horrible, like you've just had a squeeze and they're really like bulgy and red. But literally as soon as you've put this on and you've took it off, it dries your face up immediately, but it's, it's amazing. It's so easy to take off. Um, this one has got loads of different ingredients in. Um, it's got seaweed gel, almond oil and honey. And it's also got a Frenchy lavender fragrance, which is for a calming effect. But this honestly, as soon as I put this on, it depends how I'm feeling. Sometimes I'll just put it on and sit in my room. Sometimes I'll put it on whilst I'm in the bath. But you feel immediately relaxed. And I'm not lying. Like, you need to try this. It smells very cucumber and like, seaweedy. But you feel instantly, like, I feel like my entire face, my muscles are relaxed. I feel amazing afterwards. So if you need something literally just to keep you going, this is amazing. It's a definite, I always get it. The good thing with Lush as well, um, if you collect, if you use the normal pots or these pots, collect five of these, take it back into Lush and they'll give you a free fresh face mask as well. So always I'll buy one like when I've finished and then I'll collect them and I'll end up getting a free one, which this one was my free one because I'd used one one just before I went away. And I went in yesterday and I was like, oh, I've collected my pots and I got my free one. But I'll show you what it looks like. Very, very green. But that's it. But it is phenomenal. And it smells, I just can't, it smells very relaxing. Like as soon as you smell it, it's instant relax. So I definitely go for that one. That really tells for that pot at 675. But they've always got a date on them where they're obviously going to go out of date, obviously, because you have to keep them in the fridge. But you usually get a couple of months on them anyway. But I'll just try and use it as much as you can, just in case. But these are absolutely amazing. And I tend to like smother my face in it as well. So love lace. That's another essential. The next one, um, I started using this a couple of months ago because I saw it on, I can't remember whether I saw it on, I think it was a, on YouTube, um, or I don't know whether somebody suggested, I can't remember, I saw it randomly, but I didn't see a lot about it. I literally just saw it 9 till 5 and, you know, saw what it did. I thought, mm, I'm going to try that. So I went on the actual website and I looked at the different cleansers and then I went into the shop and tried a couple, smelling them and reading what they do. And this one seemed to jump out at me. But I'm so, so glad I bought it. I have still got my small bottle. As I said in my other video before, it's the same um, bottles as the shower gels, but the shower gels tend to last you ages no matter how much you use. I have been using this religiously every single day for a couple of months and I've still got like that much left in it. So as soon as this runs out, I'm getting the bigger bottle because I know it'll last me a lot longer. But this is called 925. It's a cleansing lotion um, and it's, it's amazing. I use it for a lot of different things. Um, it says obviously um, on the website that it's got almond oils in and it's got orchid oils. Um, it's got cleansing milk to soothe and moisturize. And it's got a blend of four floral essential oils in to brighten the skin. Um, this is just amazing for everything. I use it at the end of the day. Um, when you've been using your makeup, it removes makeup. The it's just the best. I've used a lot, a lot of makeup removers. Um, some of them have made my eyes and face sore because I tend to just scrub and scrub and scrub because I hate going to bed with any makeup on at all. Um, and some of them have been good, but they've always left like little bits of eyeliner on and little bits of mascara. This is the first one I have known that I can put all over my eyes, even scrub in the eye when the eyes open and it doesn't create any irritation. It is amazing. It removes my eyeliner and my mascara, literally, it's, it's gone. It removes it so well. It is the best makeup remover I have ever used. Removes your foundation perfectly, removes everything. It's amazing. And as I said, it's the first one where I just put it on a cotton bob, put it all over my eye, and I don't need to worry about any irritation, and I don't need to worry about making my eye sore either, but it is fantastic. 
So I would definitely, definitely go for this one. I am going to be using this forever, but it's it's part of my like nighttime skin routine. But it's amazing. It smells really relaxing as well because of all like the essential oils and everything. But it's really calming before you go to sleep as well because it keeps like this like nice scent on your skin. Um, what I tend to do is, um, you don't need to wash it off, you literally just put it on a cotton pad, rub it all over, but what I do is I use like an empty cotton pad afterwards and I just rub it over just to make sure all of it's gone off, um, but that is absolutely amazing, so as soon as that's gone, I'll be getting the bigger one. Um, the price is for this, it's £5.10 for this little one, but as I said, it's lasted me ages, so it's completely worth the money, you're not paying £5.10 for just one go, and then if you want the bigger one, which is what I'll be using afterwards, it's £9.90. 95 but if this lasts you out just how long is that big one gonna last you and you use a lot of it i mean you don't have to use a lot of it but i do and you can use a lot of it because of how long it lasts you so that is definitely another essential so i'm really really happy that i tried something different and went for that the next thing that i'm going to show you is another amazing amazing find the only reason i found this was because i went into lush and um, because i had um really sore feet and I wanted something that, you know, was going to get rid of the roughness around, like, my heels and my toes. And it's just because I was on my feet a lot at work. And I just needed a bit of a pamper, really. My feet felt horrible. Um, and I ended up looking... The lady showed me a mud mask that you have to put over and then put cling film on. And I was looking at that. But then, obviously, I was explaining, you know, I need something like to scrub my feet and whatnot. Um, and I found this amazing it's amazing it's a shower scrub but it can be used for loads of things um it's called rub 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 and the only reason i have this very very big part is because i use it a lot and i was buying the little one but my other half bought me this big one yesterday because he was like you, you need it to last you but just look at this this is the really really big one this one's 14.95 but if you want the smaller one i think it's is it, have I got it ripped out? it's 8.95 for the smaller one but it can be used for everything. Um, it's a really, really good shower scrub. It can be used dry before you get in the shower or wet while you're in the shower. It creates a lot of bubbles whilst you're in the bath. So if you've got your bath bomb in already and you've scrubbed all of it over, it, it creates so many bubbles. It's amazing. My skin feels so, so, so soft after I've used this. The first time I used it, it was like I had angel skin. It was amazing. Um, but it can also be used on your hair as well. So if you are struggling with um, having flat hair um, with your hair volume, rub this into your scalp. It's got lemon in it, so it creates um, a good shine to your hair as well. But because of the sea salt, it's really good for volumising. Um, I found, obviously, putting it in my scalp, and the volume is just insane. I mean, I don't always use it because I have a lot of um, hair masks and, like, a lot of different shampoo bars that I use. But this one is fantastic. I use it mostly for, as obviously scrubbing the bath on my like, little loofah, but as I said, my feet. I used to use those little scrubby things to get all the dead skin off. I don't use that anymore because literally every time I'm in the bath, all I do is put it all over my heels, all over my locked toes, scrub it literally in for about a couple of minutes. I put it all over my legs, all everywhere, and then wash it off. And I have soft heels and soft um, bottoms of my feet all the time. And my feet feel amazing, so well looked after. Um, I didn't take this on holiday with me, that's why I had to buy a big one, because I ran out of it just before. And because of all the walking around on holiday, even though I was obviously going down to the beach as much as I could, I really missed this on my feet, so I needed some as soon as I got home. Um, it's amazing. If I just show you, it's like blue. Like that. And it's like a jelly wobbling around. You don't really need to use a lot. It's really, really like good spreadability in it. But I tend to use a lot anyway because I'm just really, really generous. I've got it all over me now. Um, but this has got in it, and um, it's packed, as I said, rich with sea salt, which is a natural exfoliant as well as an antiseptic. So, as I said, obviously, my feet were all cracked and crumbled, and literally it cleared it up straight away. Another thing it's really, really good for is blisters when you've worn horrible shoes. Um, I think it was about a couple of weeks before I went on holiday, I wore these really crap shoes, and I had about three blisters. Even though it hurt when I put the sea salt on them, a couple of baths, and they cleared up straight away. So, it's good for everything. It's so worth the money. So, this is another one that I'm never going to stop buying now it's definite favorite i don't mind another thing um that i'm grabbing for i just showed you the rub 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 um this it's not gonna look very good it looks a lot better when you've just bought it but i have kind of used this to help 
I have. You can use them, they last absolutely ages. Um, this is one of the shampoo bars. Now they're solid shampoo bars. There's loads of different ones, but this one is the one that I'm gonna continue buying. It's actually a shampoo and a conditioner in one. It's called Godiva. Now, usually it looks like a little solid circle like this. It's bright yellow, but because I've been using it and using it, it looks like I have murdered it. It doesn't come in the tin, you have to buy the tin separately, but don't skip, you've got to buy the tin. It's two pound, they do a bigger one for the conditioner bars, which are a bit longer, but these ones are circular and fit perfectly in them, but they're amazing. If you buy it, and obviously keep wrapping it back up in the paper, it's going to keep like wearing away and wearing away, but this keeps it really dry after the water, so please, please, please buy one of these. This is obviously, as I've said, the Godiva. For the shampoo bars, it's £6.95 for this one. Um, it's got um, nut oils, butters, and it's got jasmine in it. Um, so it's got cocoa butter, shea butter, coconut oil, camellia oil. It's fantastic. Really, 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 really good. My hair has never, ever felt so shiny. It's so shiny. It's not dry anymore at the ends. It was getting really, because of how long it is, it was getting really brittle at the ends. It's, it's softened my hair. My hair's really like bouncy. It's not as flat as it used to be. My curls are a lot more defined. It really, really, really helps. It's really good. I didn't want to use normal shampoo anymore because I didn't obviously know what was going in my hair. I was fed up of buying them. I didn't feel like my hair was getting any, any any better I just felt like I was washing it in nothing but these make your hair feel so loved you know you spent your money on them as well they last ages and if you've got loads of different ones it's really good because your hair's not going to get used to the same one but this one is amazing and plus you don't have to spend your money and buy a shampoo and a conditioner it's a shampoo and conditioner in one and it smells fantastic oh and your hair smells so amazing afterwards it leaves a really sort of smell so obviously doesn't usually look like that I will get a few more uses out of this but it does really it's really spreadable <laughs> Obviously, um, your hair needs to be wet first. Scrub it into your scalp, rub it in and scrub it all over and then I scrub it on the ends as well. But because obviously it's a shampoo and conditioner in one, you just use that, leave it in for a little bit and then obviously wash it off. But it's fantastic. There's loads of different ones for different hair types. Obviously, because of what I was looking for, I went for that one. But please don't scrimp and not buy the tin. Buy the tin because it will keep it conserved for a lot longer. Um, the next thing that I'm going to show you guys is um, my all-time favourite. It's the only bath bomb that I'm showing you today because it's all my different products. All the bath bombs I tend to buy when I fancy them. This is the bath bomb I always have to buy. Always. When I'm in the shop, I'll buy one of these and then everything else. This is the first bath bomb that I ever use when I discovered Lush and it will always be my favourite. It is the Big Blue. Now, this is the most relaxing, most fantastic bath bomb ever. I've just got to warn you though, it clogs up your bath. So if you don't want your bath clogged up, use like a little sieve and sieve all of the seaweed out. But just leave the seaweed in our wood. It makes the bath a lot nicer, but just pick it all out afterwards. Oh my God, this is it. If you ever want a spa day in your like, home, this and the Love Lays face mask. Well, oh god, I used this the day before I went away. It's amazing. Look at that. It's actually like being in the sea when you put it in your bath. It is amazing. I wrote down bits and bobs about it. It contains a rani seaweed, which is a type of kelp. That softens in the bath, by the way. It is really hard when it's concealed, but as soon as it's in the bath, it softens. Um, it's, the kelp is rich in vitamins and min minerals. The sea salt which the bath bomb contains softens the skin and it helps to remove dead skin cells as well and it's also got white lemon oil in it and lavender oil which is really good for clearing the mind. So I think if you do fancy like a relaxing bath that's going to fit, make you feel nice before bed, that and the Equal Baby Bot bath bomb which I said in one of my earlier videos would be absolutely perfect. But Big Blue is one of those ones that I always have to buy because it would always be my favourite. Um, that retails out at 3 50 but I don't mind paying that for one bath because if you're going to stay in there for ages like I do and get all wrinkled, I don't really mind paying the price. So that is definitely another one that you need to go for. Obviously, if you don't like the smell of it, you know, you're going to find a bath bomb that you're going to like, but oh, I just can't recommend that one enough. It's absolutely amazing. And I always love it before a night out as well because being my favourite one, as I said, it's a nice little pamper and it's a nice little relax. So Big Blue is amazing. You need to go for that one. The next thing that I'm going to go for is 
something that I discovered, um, it weren't long ago, it was only about a couple of weeks ago, but it is already after the first use, one of my favourite things, and I'm going to keep buying and buying and buying this. I've seen things about this before, when I went in to buy my 9 to 5, the lady did actually mention this, but I was just like, oh, whatever, and then afterwards, I, I fully wish that I'd bought it then, because it pairs amazingly with my 9 to 5 and my skincare routine. What I do is I use my 925 first and then I use this straight after because it gets rid of all the extra stuff and everything. This is the Tea Tree Toner Water. It is absolutely fantastic. Um, it contains obviously tea tree, which is antibacterial, antifungal and antimicrobial. Um, so it's amazing for spots. It gets rid of all of the bacteria that causes spots, which stops you getting them as often. Um, it's also got Juni Berry in it, which is also antiseptic and it keeps um, skin clear. This also removes um, traces of makeup and cleanser. So after I've used my 9 till 5, obviously that clears up all of my makeup and then this tone of water clears up all the bacteria to add the spots and it also gets rid of the cleanser that's been left on your skin as well. It's absolutely amazing. Obviously, if you don't like tea tray, if you don't like the smell of it, you're not going to like this, but if you're struggling with your spots, you really need to try it even if you don't like it. Me, I obviously still do get spots, which is natural, but they're not as bad as they used to be and they're not half as painful. Like when you've just squeezed a spot, when you've got one that's, I've had one, I think it was when I first used it, right under the skin and it wasn't popping up, it didn't want to be popped. Used this literally the next day, it lowered itself. It was still on there, but it wasn't as horrible and it wasn't as awful, so you need to use this. What I do is I spray it directly onto my face after I've used my 9 to 5 before I go to bed and then I use a um, pad to rub it in and then I keep spraying this on the pad and then put it over everywhere just to make sure it's been cleared up by my nose, by my chin. It is fantastic. The smaller one which I've got here because I bought the smaller one first because I didn't know whether I was going to like it but as I've said with all the others as soon as it's done with I'm going in and buying a bigger one. The little one retails at 4 50 and the larger one retails at 8 50 this will last you ages exactly the same. It is absolutely fantastic and I can't look rage it enough. If you're struggling with your spots, if you're worrying about all the leftover bacteria and stuff from your makeup that you've left on before night time, put this on. This is just the, I was struggling with my skincare routine for ages because I used to watch videos and used to be like, how do you know what you're going to be using? And me like, I've got about three four products now that I use before bedtime and this is just the piece to piece to resistance however you say it but that, it, it's amazing I definitely get that one so struggling with your spots struggling with anything like that add this to your skincare routine the tea tree water from Lush the last thing that I'm going to tell you about don't run to the shops now because you actually can't get it um but this is an essential not that I can get all year round, but something that I go to at Christmas time and I stock up on it so I've got it the whole year round. I was bought a baby one, a 500 gram for my birthday, and I've got a 1kg one that I got for Christmas, so I am sorted. But as soon as Christmas rolls around, I'm going to buy another one because when I run out halfway through the year next year, I'm going to be very angry with myself. It is the Snow Fairy Shower Gel. Ignore the state of the bottle, I use this all the time. It is fantastic. It smells like candy, like, oh god, yeah, like candy, and it's just, oh, it's amazing. You only get this at Christmas time, um, and it says to add a little sparkle to your shower by cleansing with the candy floss scented favourite. If you don't like sweets, you're not going to like it, but as soon as Christmas hits in Lush, go and buy yourself one of these, because you won't hate it. As far as I know, everybody that I've seen loves this. Everybody does. Obviously, it's not an essential for all year round. Well, it is, but it's not something I can buy all year round, so it's an essential that I always stock up on when I can. Um, as far as I remember it, I think it goes the exact same way as normal shower gels. The baby one is four ninety five, and I think this massive one is twenty seven ninety five, and I think the one in the middle is like sixteen or something like that. But it's so worth it. But this is the five hundred grammer. But as I said, I have got a one kg waiting in the bathroom to be used. Um, this has got. I'm just seeing if I can poke out any of the. I'm not very good with ingredients. Oh God, no, it doesn't really say a lot. Let's just say what it says. It says, close your eyes, make a wish, and swish on shimmer with the sweet scent of candy floss. It is just amazing. It is fantastic. I use this. I use all my other shower gels as well, but this is the one that I tend to use all of the time. 
I've used it so, so much. This has lasted me from my birthday, which was November last year. So you know it's gonna last you ages. I haven't even touched my 1KD yet. And my friend actually bought me a little 100 grammar as well. So I'm always gonna be sorted all year round. So this is a definite necessity. And it just makes you go like a nice candy floss princess. So yes. Well, that is the end of my favourites. Obviously, this was a video of things that I use all the time, things that I'm never going to stop using. And it's funny because a couple of them I've only just discovered as well, which is really, really good. Um, hopefully, you can go to Lush and pick these items up and you will actually like them. Everything that I'm showing you, you can tell is being used. I mean, look at the state of my bump bar, the, the, the bump bar, shampoo bar, and look at how low my night or five is. So you definitely know I've been using them and loving them. Obviously, any questions, just let me know. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video today. There will be a lot more and a lot more regular now. I'm back off holiday. Um, if you like it, give us a thumbs up and also subscribe if you want to see more videos coming your way. Thank you ever so much, guys, and speak to you soon.